Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner, and it is me, Spider Slayer. That's right guys, we're getting ready to do another comic book haul. Uh, very busy this week with work and lots of personal things going on, so sorry for the lack of videos for the week. That's why I posted like four videos in one day uh, last week, um, so at least you had some stuff to watch. But right now we're going to do a comic book haul, and by the time this is posted it will probably be on Friday and look forward to my uh, Walking Dead issue 95 review that will be tomorrow as well which will be Friday and the reason why I'm filming in the living room today well I got lots of laundry to do so I didn't want all the noise uh, affect the sound quality of the video so we're just going to be filming this in the living room so with that being said let's get started comic book haul oh, that's right guys some of you guys probably will all pick up a couple of these issues because we've been waiting for it for a long time. But let's see what we got. Alrighty. First off, I got finally got my hands on Deadpool. Issue number 52. That is right. Deadpool issue 52. This series has been very good so far. Love the cover with this one. Death is just like... <sighs> Just over Deadpool, right? So this has been a good series so far. Waiting to see if Deadpool actually dies. The next we have DC Comic Book. This was last week's. Couldn't pick it up, but I got it this week. Batman issue number seven. The I think it's the conclusion to this storyline. The Court of the Owls. Uh, yeah, this has been an excellent, excellent issue. Check out the cover here with the claws of the owls and everything else. Very good, very, very excellent. I have no complaints about this Batman book. Uh, one of the few T DC titles that I'm still holding on to. Um, the next one is Green Lantern and the New Guardians. This has been a fun series. I enjoy this. I, I love Kyle Reiner, and that's why I buy this series. To me, he is the Green Lantern core. Um, uh, I'm not too fond of the other, the new Green Lantern core, but I do like this one. And the art in this book is, is done very, very well, so I continue to read this book uh, with great anticipation. Um, next we have from DC is Aquaman, issue number seven. Another Jeff Johns masterpiece. This has not been a disappointment for me. Um, we're getting into a major storyline right now, so um, we're going to see where this book goes. Um, but basically, it's the secret of it's the secret of the others. Is that what it says there? Looks like it. But we've been learning about Atlantis a little bit in the previous issue. Amira was the focus point on the other issue, so. Um, we'll see where that one goes. One from last week also, like this cover. Um, Justice League issue number seven. Cover's done. Looks like it's by Jim Lee. Um, but the inside art is by done by uh, Gene Hall. And I think that he will be returning, or Jim Lee will be returning to the series shortly. But uh, Justice League has been a good... Good story for me. This is the beginning, I think, of a new story arc. And uh, we'll see where that one goes. Next is IDW, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number eight. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles continues to be an excellent series. Um, I have recommended this book to lots of people out there, especially who are old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans. Uh, this is a great book to read. Um, there's a 
two other there's another cover for this one but this one is the Eastman cover um, so I have been collecting his covers for this series just because it stays true to the original art um, of his creation next we have from image I've been waiting for the second issue of this one alpha girl issue number two another zombie apocalyptic type of um, book uh, but it looks like it takes a different spin on things a little bit and hopefully we'll get to learn more about the main characters and see where their story goes um, but definitely a very interesting character here and I hope this series is good and I can continue to read it so that's Alpha Girl issue number two and yeah you can see the bottom here I like the cover on the bottom one last thing here it says this is Frank he's a little worried about his future and it's like it's got some lady like pulling up her skin on her legs so that is cool um, the two picks of the week for me The Walking Dead issue 95 a Larger World Part 3. Definitely looking forward to this one. We will be getting a review out on this um, by Friday. Today is Thursday, so this will be out tomorrow afternoon. So look forward to that. A lot of you guys who subscribe to me for the Walking Dead reviews, uh, this will be done by tomorrow first thing, guys. Okay? Definitely looking forward to seeing uh, Jesus on where he's taking them to this new world or this new community i think it's called the network and we're going to see if rick can trust the new group or not this is going to be a phenomenal um, story plot here and see where it goes and we're getting closer and closer to issue 100. and if you guys are are do follow me i'm doing a review of all the original uh walking deads so i'm doing issues 1 through 86 and 87 through up until this point is already on here and last but not least, this is it, guys. It's finally starting. Avengers vs. X-Men, issue zero. That's right. And my comic book store and a lot of other comic book stores are having issue one being released on Tuesday at 8 p.m. And a lot of comic book stores are having like a party for a pre-release. And so if you're able to get to a store... And pick up your copy of X-Men vs. Avengers or Avengers vs. X-Men number one. I suggest you do so. Hopefully you have it on reserve otherwise. But we'll be doing a review on this one as well. Avengers vs. X-Men issue number zero. Kick-ass cover. So that is all the comics. And earlier in the week, went to an outlet store. And I got BAM! Yeah, that's right, baby. What do you think? More Mighty Mugs? Last week I got um, Nick Fury. This week we got the Hulk and Abomination. That is right, guys. Check those puppies out. So this is the two-pack of the uh, Avengers Mighty Mugs series. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. So, yes. That is it, Hulk and Abomination. So that is all for the pickups this week. And if I have time, maybe I'll do a little unboxing of these guys and a little review. But um, that is the comics. If you guys have any suggestions on what comics you want me to review, I'll go ahead and review them. If not, then I'll pick a few and review them myself. And with that being said, that's the end of this week's haul, guys. So, till the next comic book review, which is The Walking Dead issue number 95, this is Spider Slayer signing off. And thanks for watching Comic Book Corner. Thanks, guys. Bye.